Hey guys, welcome back to my last video of 2023, and boy have I saved the best for last. So, a little bit of lore to this video. I was scrolling YouTube the other day, and all of a sudden, a really cool video popped to my recommended that looked almost too good to be true, because it didn't have that many views. And then I watched it, and I was like, okay, hang on, this is like insane. People need to know about this. So, that's the context, the lore of today's video. We are going to be reacting to a series of insanely cool flood animations made by a guy called Not Pippi. Now, once you've done this video, I want you to all go over and sub to his channel and check his content out. The guy is insanely talented and insanely underrated. Let's make 2024 this guy's year. Trust me, when you see the content that he's making, you're going to understand why. So uh, today, we're going to react to four of his Flood animations that are unbelievably cool. You guys are not ready for it. But before we do, just give me a sec to transform into the most ethical of YouTube reactors. There we go. That's more like it. Ah, just kidding, of course. Real reactors sit like this. So, let's begin. So, starting out, we have an animation called Unforeseen Alliance. Now, again, a little bit of lore to this. If you're playing Halo 1, through 4 3 Guilty Spark, you'll notice that once the Flood Outbreak has begun, there's this kind of box with a Marine and a Jackal dead side by side on it. And the way that it's set up kind of looks like the two were making a sort of last stand. And, well, that's exactly what this animation is. So, let's begin. Okay, this has got like a Gears of War trailer vibe to it. Oh my god, the POV animation is sick. Oh, we've got Marcus Leto and another guy making his last stand. Dude, seeing the med pack on the back is kind of sick actually, I like that. That's a cool vibe. Oh no, the friendly jackal! The jackal's cowering! Dude! I did not expect to be getting feels for a jackal today. Oh, there's two marines and two jackals! Oh! Dude! I'm not even kidding, this is like hitting the heartstrings a little bit. Look at them, man! Brothers to the end. Oh! Come on, help him up. Help the jackals up. You can't leave them down there stranded. Dude, I love the music. The framing of this being so, like, melancholic. Oh. Guys will look at that and just say, hell yeah. No, the first jackal. Oh, and here, here's us finding the box. Dude, the animation is so sick. I believe it's done in Source Filmmaker. And my god, is it is it well done? Aw. Oh, brothers to the end. They threw aside all of their, their hatred for each other and just fought to the end against a common enemy. Man, that's genuinely like I'm not even I'm not even making this up for like content's sake. Just to have a uh, in tribute to the two marines who put their differences aside with their kick your enemies to fight the flood horror together. Never forget. Never forget. Oh, dude, oh with the, the, the date as well, like a camera picture. Salute to you. That is so cool, man. Like, genuinely, I'm not making this up for, like, content reaction sake. That is genuinely, like, heart heartwarming and also very sad, like, seeing them team up. And, like, seeing that one marine lower the other marine shotgun when he sees the jackals in the corner. Like, no, we've got to stand with these guys, man. That was so good. And that's the first of four. So let's roll to the next one. So this one's going to have a little bit of a different vibe. So if any of you guys have played the original Resident Evil 3, you remember that really cool intro with Raccoon City being overrun by T-Virus zombies and seeing RPD and stars mobilize in the street to kind of take them down but get overrun by the infected? Well, this is a really, really cool NMPD and Flood version of that. This is the first one of Pips that I saw. And it's the reason that I'm making this video. So let's have a watch. So straight away we have like the Resident Evil 3 audio. Dude, seeing like traditional zombie animations with Flood, I think it looks really, really cool. I still want like a really authentic zombie outbreak story, kind of like this with the Flood. I mean... 
just looking at this. See, the, the police car show up as well. It's so cool. NMPD police have really cool fits. I love those orange visors. <laughs> ODST is repelling from Falcons as well. So ODSTs are in place of stars, obviously. And here we get to see the uh, hilarious overrunning of the police force. I love how they're just like all mag dumping down range and nothing's dying. <laughs> I love seeing the flood like that, man. Like traditional zombies. Oh, rest in peace, ODSTs. <laughs> It really fits the Resident Evil 3 like audio and, and dialogue and atmosphere so well. <laughs> oh no, that Marine loaded his MA5C with blanks. Poor guy. ODST even. Oh, the visor. Rest in peace, NMPD. Oh, the Resident Evil 3 music as well. Love that. So just a short one, but I thought that was worth showing because like I said, it was the first video of Pips that I saw and it's the reason that I'm making this video because as you guys know, I'm a huge Resident Evil fan, massive Resident Evil fan, as you can kind of see by uh, the very, very large Leon statue there. <laughs> so seeing this, seeing like a halo version of that really cool traditional RE3 intro was so sick, especially when it's done to that quality. V43, can we please get a traditional zombie outbreak story with the flood? I'm begging you. On to the next one. So this one is... Iconic puts it lightly, this is an animated version of Breaking Quarantine, which is the story of how Johnson survived the flood in Halo 1. Now, the story, I forget the artist's name, Sutomo something, Sutomo Nihei, I think his name was, who did the art for this in the graphic novel. It's quite possibly like the greatest Halo art of all time, like hyper stylized, really cool looking. And this is an animation of that story showing how Johnson survived and I believe it also intertwines with Chief and Johnson's first interaction in the flood as well. So this is going to be iconic and venison. Let's begin. Oh, we've got the Star Wars scrolling text. After the events of Halo Combat evolved, Master Chief found himself in a desperate situation. Surrounded by Covenant and without a space drive, he had no choice but to capture one Covenant cruiser. Luckily, he was not the only survivor. Oh, stop it. I've got to stop it. So, <laughs> Before the abrupt escape from the Covenant hunting party, he came across several cryosleep capsules containing possible survivors. And he also encountered a UNSC Pelican. Leaving the debris field and orbiting the moon basis to mislead his pursuers, Master Chief would bring together both crews to execute his crazy plan. First Strike. Well, actually not Operation First Strike. Get the Ascendant Justice, but... First Strike. Oh ho ho! Rest in peace, Alpha Halo. But damn, does that look good. I love the camera shape when the cruiser flies over. That's very cool. Cortana, bring us closer to the Pelican. Right on top. Give me a hard dock on its top access hatch. Right. New burn parameters ready. But you know the ship configuration during an orbital burn is not stable. Damn. I love we the in long. I love the interior of the longsword. Seeing it animated, that's very cool. Longsword is like the pure Kino Halo ship. Best Halo ship of all time. I will die on that hill. Oh, here we you go. You were dead. I saw you die on Jenkins' mission record. Jenkins! This is the very first strike where Chief, uh... Oh. Whoa! The actual infection of Jenkins. That's so sick. My God, that poor man was tortured. Blood got you. The flood, hell, chief. It will take more than that pack of walking alien horror show freaks to take out Sergeant AJ Johnson. <laughs> Dude, here we go. Ultimate Chad mode activated. Johnson is one man, one man army trip out of the uh, the research lab. It's so wild that this is the first time I've ever actually seen this animated. Oh man, is this where he jumps over the light bridge? Oh, it's even got crawlers, dude. They've got crawlers. Yeah, the jump. They've even got the jump in. Hell yeah. A jump followed by sliding on an infection form. Lovely. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, they're trying to break through, but they can't. Oh, he's even got the Max Payne dive in. That's so sick. That, like, jump around the corner, Max Payne style. Go on, Jonathan. Blast him in the face. It's mad how this is all done with, like, Halo 1 assets. And to say they're, like, 22 years old, they look really good. Oh, my God. Okay, moment of sympathy. Not anymore. Damn, I love that. This, the animation for Jonathan sprinting looks sick. Fire in the hole. Dude, you can put devils and monsters, the song, uh, like behind anything, and it works so well, I swear to God. God, the lighting, man. The lighting looks so good. I'd love to get a playable section of this. All right, but I'm having you checked inside and out the first chance we get. <laughs> inside we can't and risk letting the flood infection spread. Oh, dude, that was sick. Flicking it around at the trigger guard and handed to him. That was really cool. So that's a really cool section from, like I said earlier, First Strike animated where Chief first meets Jonathan and he like almost kills him because he thinks that he's infected by the flood because of Jenkins' helmet cam footage. Obviously he wasn't. And that was a great example of... Uh, Seeing how he escaped the flood, I love seeing that. The actual action sequences and how well Pip managed to recreate some of the frames from Breaking Quarantine, like the, the Max Payne jump, the jump over the uh, light bridge. That's all very, very, very cool. That that story is so good. And seeing it come into like an, a truly animated format, that is really sick. Right then, piggybacking off the back of that, let's get on to our last animation. Right, this is the story of a human legend, a truly iconic marine, Marvin Morbuto. Now, I covered this guy in a video many, many years ago. Basically, he is a marine that was technically present during Halo 1, but you only see his story in the, the Flood, which is the novelization of Halo 1. And he actually was taken to the library by Guilty Spark before Chief, and he almost made it to the end. One marine almost made it to the end of the library, and we're about to see how that happened. Roll on the journey of Marvin Morbuto. Okay, so it's based on Chief Mission Clark, right. I mean, that is a strange hour, the 64th hour of the day. I've never even thought about that, actually. How do day-night cycles even work on a Halo? How long is a day on a Halo? That's a question for another day, I think. Oh, God, listening to Heavy Price Paid. Oh, my God. Oh, oh so this is going to be Chief discovering Marvin's body. Okay. I still really wish Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary did that. Like, added his body somewhere in the library. Just one marine body. Dude, like what I said about Devil's Monsters, you can put a heavy price paid over literally anything, and it just, it works so well. Oh, here he is. I love the glowing on she's back. I love how he uses like Halo 1 sound effects as well. Time is short, we must continue. And there he is. Oh, the other reclaimer. His combat skin proved even less suitable than yours. Imagine not bringing a class 12 combat skin into the library. What a rookie error. What do you mean? Is this a test reclaimer? I found him wandering through a structure on the other side of the ring. And brought him to the same point where you started. See, this should have been in combat of anniversary. I'm, you cannot convince me otherwise. Like these kind of like extra stories would have been perfect for a, like to, to put into the campaign of a remaster, as opposed to what we actually got. This is why I want another remake of Halo CE or remaster slash remake. There's so much that could be done. So we're gonna see Marvin's story right from the beginning, from the okay, POA getting right. raided. There he is, the man of the hour, I think. Dude, that Halo 1 Marine design with the face mask is such a sick fit. I love that so much. Even got the Marine with the chain gun, baby. Okay, you in a few in a few games time chips. You. 
Dude, even seeing like space. Whoa, the Mac. Holy shit, the Mac kind of looks sick. God damn. Oh, there you go. The, uh, are they called the, the ticks? I always forgot what they're called. Ticks, I think. The boarding craft. God, dude. That Halo 1 Elite design is just peak. There he is. There's the Chad Marvin. Oh, my God. A, mar a medic marine. Now, that looks cool. Oh, no, that's Marvin. Oh, that's... No, I guess that's not Marvin either. <laughs> One of these Marines is Marvin. <laughs> Guessing he's going to be the last one standing. Okay, there he is, Mr. Morbuto. How did I not read that on his helmet? <laughs> oh, that Marine's legs have been blown off. I did not notice that. <laughs> That medic marine, I love the medic armor. The white and the red shoulders look sick. Uh -oh. oh, ODSDs. Bro, that hunt is deaf. <laughs> Rest in peace. Oh, no, it's somehow not dead yet. Now it is. Dude, the Halo 1, the Halo 2 style ODSTs with Halo 1 armor looks so good. Oh, the leap with the sword. We are leaving. Okay, so Marvin was the last survivor of his squad on the Pillar of Autumn. God damn. Bear in mind that in the flood, nothing's ever spoken about what Marvin did before he went to the library. Um, his story, I believe, only exists in the library section. We don't know what happened to him, like, on the POA, when he landed on the Halo, like, during a raid on the Truth and Reconciliation, like, none of that. Oh, Fight Team Zulu. Hell yeah. God, dude, the snowy Halo can't... Man, Snow and Halo just go together like that. Such a perfect combo. That water is going to be cold. Marvin is in for a shock. This animation, dude, is insanely good. Like, even the cinematography of this is done so well. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend that I'm some, like, next level, like, Dennis Villeneuve kind of guy. I feel like I can appreciate good cinematography when I see it, and this is, this is done really, really well. Oh, Marvin is about to blast them all out. They are gonna regret waking up Marvin Mobuto. The Chad has arisen. <laughs> That's quite brutal, actually. Dude! Hell yeah, man. I love that. I don't know about Marvin Morbuto. It's more like Marvin Wick. That's so cool seeing a like, body cam footage of a Halo 1 Marine with, a, with an M6D. That is really cool. It's the kind of stuff that I wish we get more of in Halo. Like, really gritty, like, tactical kind of stuff like that. Ooh, that's one hell of an impalement. I don't think you're waking up from that. He had his face melted by a grunt. Witness again, Marvin is the last man standing. There's a bit of a trend forming here. Maybe he's the third hyper-lethal vector. Even using, like, the Halo 1 ammo pickup sound effects... That's such good attention to detail right there. He's making a campfire. 
Damn, that is cool. Man, I don't know about Marvin's journey. It's more like Marvin's Odyssey. Jesus, man, this man has been everywhere. <laughs> Seeing that snow covered armor looks sick as well. He is very snowy. Imagine like how terrifying this would be though. Like you're on your own on some like insanely alien foreign installation. You have no idea if anyone else survived and you're just like wandering on your own. You don't know where food is. You don't know where safety is. You're being hunted the entire time. And then you find that. And then you find that. <laughs> it's like, bro, how do you cope with that? Hello. Oh, hello. I am the monitor of installation 04. I am 343 Guilty Spark. Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation. But I require your assistance. Come. Here we go. And so the journey begins. So four hours before Chief found him is when he died then technically. I actually don't... I think that mission clock is probably correct. To the book. must get up there. Here we go. Right, this is where the true Chad comes out. The man solos his way almost the entire way through. Bro, you give a Marine some Halo 1 armor and MA5B and there's nothing he can't do. Absolutely nothing. This is all like within hours of him crash landing as well. Like <laughs> the guy the guy is an absolute trooper. Quite literally, a trooper. <laughs> God, Devil's Monsters go so hard, man. So hard. I love that camera angle. That, like, real, real close, real erratic camera angle works so well for, like, any kind of zombie horror. It's why 28 days and weeks work so well. What is he left? This is M6D. God, that, that library is infested and venison. Oh, no. Oh, no. Heavy Price Prey to start playing. That's not a good sign. No. <laughs> it never ends well when that starts playing. <laughs> Nothing happy ever happens. Behind you, oh no, he had his AirPods in. He couldn't hear us. He got stabbed by the flood whip. No. Dude, that's so sick seeing him make it all the way through there, like through all the areas of the Halo. Sarge, but I sure as hell wish I had. You must have been one hardcore son of a bitch. Yes! The actual line from the Flood. That's literally what Chief says when he finds his body in the Flood. I love that. That's so sick, dude. Absolutely amazing. I absolutely love that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said at the start, please go and check out Pippi's channel. And also, make sure you sub to him. If you don't, then, um... If you don't sub to him, no Flood content in 2024. I'm cutting it. If you don't sub to Pippi, and also me at the same time, but Pippi mostly... No flood content in 2024. So you know what you got to do. You know what you got to do. Pippi, my dude, thank you very much for letting me react to your videos. They are, like I told you already, incredible. You have a very bright future ahead of you, I can assure you. I cannot wait to see what you're working on next. Man, like flood stuff, non-flood stuff, halo stuff, non-halo stuff. I guarantee you're going to kill it. This is just the start. And uh, you bet that I'm going to be reacting to more of your videos next year. But my God, those flood, those flood animations are so, so sick. I love seeing things from the books being brought to life like that in such an authentic, but also badass fashion, like breaking quarantine, like the last stand with the Marines and the Jackals, the, man. Genuinely heartbreaking, genuinely heartbreaking. But with that said, let's round this one out nice and short and sweet, shall we? I wanna give a huge thank you to all of my amazing patrons for the continued support over there. Thank you all so much. And thank you all once again for watching. I really appreciate all the support this year, guys. Honestly, it's been a year that's been rather interesting for content, but it's been an up year. So I'll take that. I'll absolutely take that. Thank you all very much. I can't wait for 2024. It's going to be a good year of content. I'm very excited. So with that said, happy new year. Thank you all again for the support. And I'll catch you in 2024.